I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your RV, for your house? They've got sizes to fit it all. You get a 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, free shipping, and best of all, it's made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin for 20% off your purchase. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm good. It is early Sunday morning. Felix uh, is packing up Betty White, getting ready to go down to Phoenix. That's right, I said Betty White. Finally got it back from the shop. We had a, a good fire out here last night. Me and Felix sat here and talked. I had a little cardboard I'm getting rid of this morning. We sat out here and talked for, uh, you know, I moved my chair. I mean, we sat out here and talked for hours and hours and hours about his plans to to go to Phoenix and get treatment. But uh, Betty White, she's about spotless. Red, well, <laughs> I can't keep it clean. I live on a dirt road and it rains every day. But, uh, yeah, it was a little bit more involved than uh, than what we thought. It was more than that fuel regulator and more than just the fuel pump. He's taking his refrigerator down there. He's powering it by his little blue eddy. That fits good. Foxy, I came up here and she barked at me. Come here. You're not gonna bite me, are you? Oh, I'm getting lick. I'm getting licks this morning, Felix. Uh oh. That uh, that refrigerator fit perfect back here. Yeah. You got that blue eddy charged all the way. Yep. The uh, the mechanic went on and on about how great a condition Betty White is. He's a uh, a Geo Tracker Suzuki Sidekick enthusiast, and uh, he just couldn't believe how good a shape it was. So Felix is in here packing, getting ready to go. How you liking your new chair there? Ah, that chair is awesome. It's a lot more comfortable, huh? Oh yeah. It's kind of odd to see you in white instead of, instead of orange. Oh. Everybody, this, this is the Siki shirt. <laughs> everybody's gonna be asking uh -huh. how you feeling and all that, that good stuff. It's not music. I don't know if that'll copyright or not. What's that? Oh, yeah. So what's the plan, Stan? This time, I promise, I'm gonna water your plant. Oh. I, he was gone. He was gone. I said, don't worry about a thing. I got it all under control. I forgot to water his plant. How long? Two weeks? Three weeks? Three weeks. He still made it. It looks, it's so pretty, it's its like it's uh, fake. Yeah. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> Remember that plant I had for 17, 18 years? Yeah, and you got your payback. He kind of, he was taking care of it. He said it kind of close to the, the window. Oh, it froze. And, we it, a, and uh, it froze. I had it for, it came from my brother's funeral. And I had it for like 18 years. But that's not why I did that. Oh no? No, no. Oh, 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 oh. Just uh no. But mine died. <laughs> yeah, the that frozen spell came in. The frost on the window got it. It's too close to the window. We had a frost alert. I could have I could have took it with me. So uh 
All right, here's the deal. Felix is leaving Miss Gypsy here at RV Base Camp in Arizona. And he's going to go to Phoenix. He's going to drive himself. He's going to drive uh, Betty White down there. He's going to stay with our friends Paul and Darcy. Yeah. And how's that going to work? They got a fifth wheel RV. They got a fifth wheel, yeah. Already set up. Power, water, air conditioning, heat. Yeah. Anything and everything. Change hands here. And uh, we, we, meaning Felix and I, mostly Felix, he didn't think it was a good idea to be traveling back and forth. Uh, he's gotta, going. Yeah, I got to be close to the hospital in, in, case, in case I get a, uh, what do they call it? A, a fever spike. A fever spike. So he's going to have chemo one time per week. For three months? Um, for the first four doses, first four doses for a month. For a month. And then if the, the uh, if the man shrinks, I go straight into operating. So they can get into the operating room and let, and they'll take out the mask. And then I'll, after that, continue uh, with more chemo. So they're going to try to get it smaller and then remove it yeah. within 30 days? No, no. Well, if if, if, if the first, my first treatment works and it shrinks, they'll send me straight into the operating and mm -hmm. get it moved and then I continue chemo. All right. With but a different... Uh, different kind? Yeah. But for now, it's just one time per week. Yeah. And uh, we thought about trying to drive you back and forth. But he's already stayed down there with Paul and Darcy. He stayed in there a month or two. Like yeah, year. when I painted the house and all that, yeah. And they're good friends, and they're really good people. And he could have done, well, we thought about doing chemo here, but his doctor is down there, and instead of getting the treatments, he just thought he'd get better quality care in yeah. Phoenix. That's what they told me. So it's going to be hard to see Felix leave RV base camp. I told him, I said, if you need me, call me. I'll be there in four hours. And uh, Paul and Darcy are going to drive him back and forth to chemo. Uh, the RV is right behind their house. Yeah. And they have a, they have what's a brother-in-law and sister-in-law that live there as well sometimes. Oh, they're, they're, uh, Darcy's uncle. Okay, so there's a lot of people that's going to be there. And uh, if Felix feels well enough, he's going to come back up here to RV base camp. Yeah, yeah. And depends on how he feels. So he'll have a house there. He'll have a house here. If he needs help here, I'll help him. If he needs help there more than Paul and Darcy, then I'll go down there. Uh not how I thought it would work out, but it's it's the way it's working out. Yeah. So Felix was there for me when I had cancer, and I want to be there for him. I don't want to let him down. Uh, so we're just going to figure it out as we go. Right? Yep. Mr. Speedster. Yep. Mr. Mr. Uh, Speedster. Yeah, Mr. 44 and a 25. Oh. I was up in that one. We were leaving uh, Snowflake yesterday and went through the back part of town. And Felix and I, we were we were talking up a storm. In other words, I was talking up a storm, and uh, I kind of had you distracted, right? Yeah. We saw this uh, Chevy Blazer. I said, "Cop!" He put on the brakes, but it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they gave me a break. They got him, but they gave him a break. I thought for sure 19 miles over. I like they're going to impound this thing. <laughs> oh man. So the cop came over to my side of the window and he let the window down. He said, "You know it was doing 44 and a 25, don't you?" And I said it was my fault. 
on the passenger. I said, it's my fault. I said, I was, I was talking and I, uh, I, I, I had his attention away from driving. Uh, so this is not normally the way we go home. And the cop says, well, does he ever say anything? Uh, yeah, I try to avoid conversation with them. Anyway, uh, I had the dogs in my lap. And as he reached to get the license and insurance and registration, Martini licked him on the hand. And I said, no, 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 Martini, don't bite him. He's a good guy. <laughs> Martini saved the day. Martini saved the day. So uh, we should tell him what you did, had done to the, the sidekick. So uh had quite a nasty little bill on Betty White here. It was okay. Fourteen ninety five, I think it was. Including the tow. Yeah. So it wasn't the fuel pump. It wasn't it well the fuel regulator or yeah, fuel, fuel it was regulator. it was leaking. Yeah. And so that fouled the plugs and yeah. uh uh, gas and oil. Yeah, yep. Yeah, so he had to do a, a major tune-up on it. So the culprit, so the culprit of all things, the computer. The computer. You know, it's it's a '91 model. It's 31, 32. 31 years old. 31 years old. It's supposed to be 32 years old, and it has 115,000 miles, fewer miles than mine. My fewer miles than red. But uh, anyway, this guy, he had a computer uh, in his shop. He had to dig for it for like an hour, he said, and he found it, and it came out of a 93. had the same serial number uh, or model number written on it. Sure enough, he plugged it up, and, he, and it worked. So instead of $650, he let Felix have it for 400 But got a full tune-up on it. Uh, air conditioning will freeze you out. He went all under this thing, checking it out. Yeah. And I think it was a, a good price, fourteen ninety five. I just feel bad. Diagnostics. I just feel he bad. He said that this thing, I got it for another eighty thousand more miles. So the only problem it has, mm -hmm. the front seals, right? Camshaft, crank, crank. Anyway, camshaft seals leaking right there under the time timing belt. Right. And so, so sometime when I finish my chemo. And uh, I come back. I'm gonna take it back to him so he can put the new. Uh, yeah, uh, timing belt and change that seal, and that's it. Well, you know, it's got it. it had a new timing belt on it right before I got right before I got it, but they must not have done the seals. Right. You always got to do the seals when you do that. But, uh, anyway, I think uh, Betty White's going to be good for the four-hour trip down there, and I rode with him. This thing's got plenty of power. It changed it. Yeah. Between yeah. the plugs and the wires and the cap and the setting the timing and the computer, this thing a scooter put down the road. So RV base camp won't be the same without my buddy, but he's gonna come up and visit. I'm gonna yeah. go down there and visit. Not enough to smother you, you know. Not oh, enough. Oh, oh, I won't, oh. I won't, I won't smother you. Oh, okay. You know. You're not gonna crowd me. I might crowd you, but oh, I won't. Oh, you uh, might crowd me. I might man. crowd you, but I'm not gonna smother you. There's, oh. a, there's a difference. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's yeah. The smothering doesn't sound too good. <laughs>
there's kids out here. You wouldn't want you to be driving fast. Kids, you want people driving fast or kids? Yeah, I ain't gonna give you a citation. When you go, you go slow, there's kids in the in the streets and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny thing is, Felix, we get out of swinging range. He drives like a grandpa. He just goes through the gears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll eventually get up to speed, but he's no speed demon. No. He's the last guy in the world that should get a speeding ticket, so I'm glad he didn't get one. Okay, that's going to make today's video. Unless there's something you know else you need to cover. No, no, I think that's it. With Start chemo Tuesday, hopefully. With one time a week, you're really not expecting a, a whole lot of sickness out of it. The way it's described. Some people get sick, some people don't. We're gonna find out. Yeah, I'll find out. But you got a you got a good backup system. You got a lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna help you. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. Lost my train of thought. Oh yeah? I keep doing that. I hit my head the other day. Oh that's what it was. We'll, we'll see you again. See you Thank again you. soon. Thank you for watching my videos. Did I already say that? Yeah, yeah. And as always, there we go. <laughs> I give God the glory for my life. Amen. Jesus Christ, he's my Savior. And he's my healer. My Lord and my healer. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. Bye from RV Base Camp. I'll give you an update soon. You're going to do videos? Yeah. Or, or something on? Yeah, yeah, a little update. When I get there, show them where I'm at, my commendations over there. And, All right, so uh, you can follow him on his channel, and if I hear anything or see anything, I'll send something on my channel. See you next yes. time.